Being in IT the last 10 years or so, I've had access to a number of tools and software suites, productivity solutions, yet my favorite tool is one that doesn't necessarily require a download, doesn't necessarily require it to be run on my computer. My favorite tool are key performance indicators, and I'll tell you a little bit about that here in a little bit. Out of all the productivity suites out there, whether it's Microsoft 365, Google Apps, um, the host of different SaaS solutions online and cloud platforms and productivity suites and CRM suites, Salesforce, all these different vendors that are, that are striving for your attention. The thing that separates one company apart from the other is how it outperforms the market. For us, understanding these key performance indicators, creating these different metrics is invaluable to our customers and to us as a company as well. If we understand what makes our customers uh, uh, go and how they thrive in their own environment, we need to be able to take metrics and apply them back to our customers, to this company. And so really my favorite tool isn't necessarily this, this uh, big software package that can tell me everything I'm doing wrong with this business, but it's about taking metrics with throughout our customers to, uh, and how they're performing in their day-to-day -day operations. What is, where is their data at? What is the most valuable thing that they have? Where are they making money? Where are they losing money? We put it all together in a big metric to outperform our competition. It is invaluable tool that we can have here. So really, it's kind of a weird take on this. I, 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 there's a lot of different tools out there that we can use, but the reality is once we get everything compiled together, it's about how the business operates. And that's what's gonna make the biggest difference for uh, how we operate with our customers and what's gonna make the biggest difference as our customers continue to, to push the market's boundaries. If you check out my latest podcast episode with Dave Sobel, link below, you're going to find that the biggest issue that service providers face today is providing value to their customers. In a lot of ways, IT providers are a dime a dozen because we all offer the same solutions. We all offer the same tools. You know, we can, we can, any of these vendors are willing to sell us something, but the reality is the best IT providers today are the ones that understand how to provide value back on the data. Metrics are invaluable for our customers too. And here are three metrics you can use to measure your company's infrastructure and cybersecurity posture. Number one, patching. What's your patch schedule look like? Are those patches actually applying? Do devices still need to reboot after that? Having a reporting function on all your workstations, on all your servers, whether it be Windows, Mac, Linux, all these are invaluable. The amount of companies that suffer a ransomware attack simply because they left an old device unpatched left on the network is just amazing to me. How you measure your patching is an incredibly important metric to measuring your business. Number two, RPO and RTO. RPO stands for recovery point objective. That is how many recovery points that you have available to you on all your backup systems. And the backups can include any on-site servers or workstations as well as in the cloud. How many backups do you have available? Do you only have the last week's worth of backups? Do you have a month's worth of backups? Do you have a year's worth of backups? And how many years worth of backups do you have? Being able to have these different recovery points, is, it provides your company with a good foundation to recover at any point in time you might, know, might have seen data loss. RTO stands for recovery time objective. How quickly an event of ransomware or a natural disaster or some sort of hardware, fa hardware failure, will you be able to recover? Do you need your business to recover within 24 hours? Do you need your business to recover within a week? What data needs to be recovered within a couple hours? Which data can wait another couple of days? Having this information available to you and understanding how long it will take to fully recover is incredibly vital to your cybersecurity posture. Number three, it might seem the most obvious, but companies do this horribly all the time is auditing your equipment, understanding what's out there to you. And so a lot of times the companies will have this old spreadsheet that they go through and they may or may not forget the document, but how is your company tracking and auditing any type of equipment that's put onto your network? For example, are there still any Windows 7, Windows XP, or God forbid Windows 2000 workstations out there? These machines remain in production in a lot of manufacturing environments that they, people don't even often realize are still out there. So understanding how you audit your sites, whether that's through a vulnerability scan to discover everything that's out there, what kind of vulnerabilities lay out there, having up-to-date documentation, all of these go into the auditing process. How well your company does, 
it gives you another metric to how well you are uh, posturing yourself in cybersecurity and, and your infrastructure as a whole. At the end of the day, if your company doesn't understand the metrics or key performance indicators that they need to have in place, then you need to have a conversation with your trusted IT provider. And if you don't have one, please feel free to reach out to the contact information below.